Hi guys, welcome to X4. We are playing on the beta branch number 6 for version 4.10 and um, we're back at the wharf. We are back at the wharf because I want to be getting myself a freighter and uh, I like this position because uh, you can see everything docking and coming in and going out. Now there was a small change. I uh, decided that my miner is going to do ores instead of silicon. Um, reason for it is... Um, I'm, this is actually the second time that I uh, do this episode. I, I bought in a lot of silicon wafers, couldn't get rid of it, and I decided just to go back and do it again. So let's buy ourselves a bit, just a small bit of this miner. Um, Freighter, sorry for that, we'll not be using any of these. We're going for the uh, some of the cheapest options here, uh, except for the Mark 1. I. I do want to travel on because uh, I think this ship needs to be fast overall um, but other than that cheapest weapon uh, mark ones on basically everything as well as the uh, first option of those let's get some flares because i do believe in survivability and I only get a captain so this is going to be it for now let's add this to the shop list and confirm this hopefully it will be built relatively fast usually it takes a few minutes which you know it could be mm, annoying but oh well things are the way they are there was one thing that did spark my interest and that is this one this uh, this order deliver medical supplies and deliver soya husk the reward will be 437,000 which would help us with our trading endeavor for sure now here you can also see that the holy order is currently fighting arrogant and is cur currently fighting Pyramid. Now, while we are here, and we do have to wait, we might as well go ahead and check out what the faction representative has for us. Let's take a look at Blueprints, and I was interested in their XL ships, uh, and it is actually the only ship that you'll have in the XL class, the Zeus. Uh, and basically a carrier. And the Sentinel is almost a carrier as well. Sure. So it, it's definitely a focus on smaller medium ships. So this does change my point of view a bit on the point fix. And starts moving me into maybe switching towards the God Realm. I honestly believe they have more options for us. Now our... Scout ship is, uh, as you can see, this is not explored right now. Uh, our scout ship is currently just placing down satellites everywhere. So that's going to be something. And I noticed my ship is being built. So let's head over towards um, the wharf. Fabrication bay. Can we go there, please? Crewman? No, okay. You know, we'll wait. Is it done? It is done. Okay, so basically shift shift D. Well, in our ship. Let's go look at our ship Center. from outside. Center because I, I do think... I like this option, though. The others will always have this... this of course, there's a hatch. But I kind of like with a large ship. Well, um, oh, a medium ship. Sorry for that. You have the option to get out of this. So here we are. Here we have our trade trade ship let's go back into the cockpit and we're going to be taking that one mission here and we have a timer of two hours let's accept this and apparently if we fly it ourselves it will tell us the location of where to get the stuff medical supplies uh, is at 70 percent so how much would you need because this is where we need to deliver yeah we need to deliver that so let's clear this let's say medical supplies i'm not sure how much we need but i'm sure we can actually get rid of it let's go medical that should probably help oh actually here it is oh wrong one Medical supplies, and we can buy them. Okay, they are sold at five eighty-eight. Anywhere else, 
588. And they're bought. Oh no, that's 588 and they're being sold at uh, 68. I'm not sure how many they would need though. So we'll go here um, to the trade station. We'll say, I want you to trade with this. And I want you to just get the medical supplies. And I'll just fill it up. It's 51. I am aware of that. We'll just go and do this uh, mission. Maybe I should fly it myself. Can I not get any clues out of this mission on how much we need to deliver? I'll pay to see my station above 75. I don't think I need this much though. It's a power plant. How many... How much medical supplies would they need? That's um, the amount we're going to be changing it for sure. We could also just go there. I think that's a better idea. Before we do this trade offer, let's go take control because I, I, I'm really impatient. We're going to be flying over towards our destination. Autopilot engaged. And we're going to see how much they would require to go above 75 and thanks to the other pilot and the time left is zero that's a lie we have one hour 75 11 so don't pay attention to that place the trade order is gone we don't have anything else to do how is our miner doing currently let's take a look it's filling up slowly on ore. that's good really good and i did use the sell order to the system uh, reason for it is there is another ore refinery. Let's turn off the uh, trade filters over there. So it is quite possible that we would get a better order or a better deal from over here. Considering they are buying in at 48 and you are buying in at... Can we just go here? 48 as well. So it's not a huge change. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut away until we uh, actually get to the station. It's quite nice to see some new stations. So uh, see you in a bit. So we have made it to our destination. And you can see there is a buy order um, for the medical supplies and the uh, soya husk. So I'm thinking if we do 100 medical supplies and about 450 of this soya husk it should be fine and i kind of don't want to do this all by myself so we'll just go over here to the trade order station we'll say trade over here let's get out of the chair actually otherwise it will expect me to do it let's do Greetings. close all of these the expected trade as well buy medical supplies where are you Medical supplies, and we want to do a hundred. You can click over here and just do like this. So that's one. And apparently they have a good amount of soya husk here as well. So we'll also buy the soya husk. Actually, they don't have a good amount. That's a bit of a shame. Soya husk. Where can we find it? I know there's a few farms. So, like this one. Trade over here. Soya husk. They have a lot of them. So, we'll do... 450. Confirm that. And then... Deliver. And I'm kind of hoping it works like this. So, we'll trade with this. Do it like this. Do it like that. Confirm that. And hopefully, by the time we go there, it is going to be enough to get ourselves a whopping 437,000. Now, I was scanned, unfortunately, by the police. I wasn't in time to um, switch with my other guys. So, we've lost the unstable crystals. And it's 
kind of it kind of sucks sorry for that so how about we will meet back once we complete this mission and then we'll go and set up our trade repeat orders okay so that took me quite a bit <laughs> i'll be very honest about it let's go back to travel mode i um i discovered my logbox and i was like hey i can do that that is not that difficult to just get back so i flew to it and we now have back our uh, unstable crystal so that's uh that's nice if we find ourselves a um a black market station out of docking range we will definitely try to sell range. them i could you docking really range. use the money so let's go ahead and slow down because i don't want to be ramming it and uh, let's land the ship and then we'll get out of the pilot seat because for the next part of this so uh, this guy's today? journey. I don't know who you were actually. Finally, a ship with some worthwhile cargo. Okay. Drop the cargo. <laughs> We're at the station right now. It looks Absolutely like done someone wanting to deal damage with me i don't know okay let's go trade let us give it the stuff it requires it was working like that or did we already do it oh there we go yes uh, of course <laughs> the second we touched down the uh, the mission was done so I'm quite happy about that. We can escort a mining ship. We're not going to do that with this uh, ship. So what do we do right now? Let's get out of the chair. Let our Demeter. captain Sentinel. take over. Well, let's make sure that we don't have any orders assigned. No, we don't. Okay, great. Now you can see that my ship has been exploring the entire system. Let's do what the title is supposed to be about. Let's go repeat orders and confirm. Let us buy in. And we're going to be buying in uh, refined metals. And I want to bring it all the way up there. I'm not sure about the 148, but let's confirm. He will go undock. Let's turn on our filters and go with refined metals. I'm sure like this ore factory will have it. Come on now. Zoom a bit more in. There you go, refined metals. So it has a price of 580 or 156. So let us just say we don't want to buy. Sorry, buy order. More than 160. So we'll buy at the maximum of 160 or me maybe even zoom a bit in yeah 160 is actually fine now i want to sell sell in uh, in the holy vision the refined metals for the minimum price of 160 some won't bring us that much money which is you know it's a shame but it is what it is okay my okay what did i do where did i do my buy order mine buy interesting unlocking sell order I love it when things not go the way I want it to be. So, refined metals again. For a price of 160. Buy up to maximum amount. Okay, there we go. Buy order and sell order. We'll increase the, uh, the buy order's uh, position. Are we undocked? We are undocked. Are we going to be attacked? Because that's a bit of the question here, isn't it? Since uh, we got that drop cargo thing. What are you going to do? So you are going to be buying from... Let's close all of these. Well, 
where are you heading? And I'm thinking, yeah, he is heading all the way over to this station because there is the, uh, the cheapest amount. Now, when we discover more of them, and you can see that my, um, my ship is now going to be exploring Cardinal's uh, Redress. If we discover more factories, more of those, we'll just add them to this guy's list. And also, we'll upgrade this ship with crew, with um, better engines, better everything. Uh, we'll do the same with our Pegasus. And then I would like to go and buy ourselves a bit of a... Um, a bit of a ship to play around with. Um, we could go for small. Um, because these actually have four weapon slots. That's quite nice. And they are quite fast as well. We also have this one. Which I just don't like. Just don't like. Now the medium ships. We have the frigate. With um, it looks like two front of... Uh, is it two? Yeah it's two frontal weapons. And four turret slots. That is not bad at all. Four turret slots. That's quite a bit. But we also have the Corvette. And the Corvette has five frontal weapons. Uh, unfortunately, one engine. And two turrets. Now, for the, uh, the high preset, we would need to spend more than um, 6.8. And they will they added, I don't know why, but they have added a, all of these torpedo launchers. And, and torpedo launch is good, not for what we want to do. So what will we go into? I, I kind of like Bolt. Perhaps, maybe I'm too much of a Bolt lover, I don't know. Um, but if we can just replace all of these with Bolts for now, maybe just add a missile later. It saves us more than a million. Actually, almost two million. The beam is I not what I would like to use. Beams is nice if, this shit, if the targets are slow. But we could go with a shot or just also the bolt. What else do they have on there? Oh yeah, we got a buttload of these missiles on. And there we go, 3.4 million, almost half price. I like the marines on this. Probably not going to use it. Uh, but then again, huh? we'll just see. And I would like to attack my current enemy for my turrets. Like, because what happens if, if, if you face your enemy, he will just hide, uh, probably just hover over you. Like, he will just bypass you. And then the turrets can take over. And you will just destroy him, which is great. So I'm not sure yet. Maybe eventually we'll just replace them with uh, some other weapons that... Uh, Actually, no, the bolt is actually quite nice. Uh, combat, I'm definitely okay with. Combat, yeah. This, this ship is definitely more suited for combat. 3.4 million for that kind of a ship. That is uh, is not a problem. Okay, where is my sentinel currently? So he is snaking. Found a lockbox. Collect. Why do, did I not put up the um, the global orders correctly? Respond to police, comply, found the logbox, ignore. Notify me if it occurs. Sorry for that. I shouldn't have done that. Um, he will probably definitely fail. I'm, I'm thinking it's this one. Or is it my min mining ship? No, it's not my mining ship. Sentinel then. Interesting. None of my ships currently have the option. So yeah, that's um, that's something we can work with. Now, what I would like to do for the next few episodes is just making sure that this um, this freighter is going to have a nice amount of things to do. Because from refined metals, if we turn back on the filter. We, I wish that if it wasn't selling anything, it wasn't it wasn't there. Um, well, yeah, well, it is what it is. Where do they sell that? Sold buy. Okay, so hull parts will buy from one AD. 
Okay, we are selling at 160 by... I am going to be uh, out of... We do want to make money here. So 170 is the, is the amount that we will be selling it. But what is it that we want to do next? So the hull parts. Into hull parts. Where would the hull parts need to go? There's a massive buy order here for 182. That is insane. The hull parts itself, they do sell. Look at that. This, this price is so... It's cheap. Low supply. It's not cheap. 265. Where would they go? Let's take a look. Hull parts. Just click that. It will be added. So... Let's remove refined metals to make this a bit more clear for us. Entering system. Holy vision. So we'll, they will buy at 270 and sell at 260. Oof. Oh, I don't know if I like that. There is, there is, they look at this demand. Uh, every of these icons, these hexagons, just gives you a bit of an indication on how much they have. Like, this one is having almost 40,000 hull parts. So that's why the price is a bit lower. So if they had uh, just one, the price would be a lot higher. So I wouldn't say sell hull parts at the uh, the wharf. I wouldn't say do hull parts. Just go and do refined metals and then just see where they might need it. But if you are going to be selling over here, you might consider this move. But this is kind of expensive though. I don't think I like that. I also want to look into silicon wafers and just assisting um, this faction. This way you will also gain reputation. Every trade that you make, everything um, will have a, a sort of percentage on to increase your reputation. So we started at 12, we're now at 14. And I don't think it's going to be too long until we can buy ourselves the, uh, the trade subscription. If you play this game and you know EMP mines or EMP bombs actually to get trade offers and stuff like that, you sometimes see that you have a trade or uh, the, the trade subscription, but unfortunately it is only with that one station. So spending that 10 million will ensure you even the future future stations will have updated trade offers with you so you don't need to place down satellites like these i'll probably won't do this many satellites at some point and we'll have to decide on what we will do for our future because i'm thinking the way things are now we could also consider going into a cheap station but I don't know where we could get enough sunlight to maybe do energy but energy is usually not the best way to start so keep that in mind also we'll move these up over here now because this is the beta I am unable to use any mods usually I use sector exploration works pretty nicely just change all of these here we go do you also keep in mind if you're watching this and you are looking for guides i am not really a guides channel uh, i will have the title in the links um, but i'm not in it to make guides but if you want to see anything then Leave it in the comment section, guys. And I will do my best to uh, make a video that will have that subject in it at some point. So I think it would be nice to leave you around here. Because I think... Yeah, we're, just, we're crawling our way to that station to make that. We know how trade goes. He will just land. We'll buy... He will go to the other station, he will land and sell. That's basically all that he will be doing. And I will show you the trade transition in the future. 
Oh wow, actually we did make a good mon amount of money here. Cool. Yeah, look at that. We've we bought for 25,000 and we sold it for 105. That is that is insane. That's really good. I love that. And we made that mission as well. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.